now the BBC News at six with Sophie Rayworth in London and Clyde Myrie in Jerusalem. At six, the Israeli military says children have been massacred by Hamas in southern Israel. Tonight, the harrowing details begin to emerge. This, the small village where bodies have been recovered, all murdered on Saturday. Israel continues to bombard parts of Gaza. The number of dead now stands at more than 800. So this area was targeted heavily last night. Uh, hundreds of airstrikes uh, uh, destroyed many buildings in this, in this area. We'll have the very latest as the Israeli military continues preparations for a possible ground assault into Gaza. Also on the programme, interrupted by a protester, but the Labour leader, Sakir Starmer, stays on course as he urges his party to seek a decade of national renewal at the next election. For football and our communities. And coming home again, Euro 2028 will be jointly hosted by the UK and Ireland. In the northwest, heartbreak for the family of a Manchester photographer, Danny Darlington, murdered by Hamas gunmen. And we'll hear from the Liverpool surgeon trapped by Israel's siege of Gaza and told to find his own way out. Good evening to you. Uh, we're live in Jerusalem where new details are just beginning to emerge as we've come on air of the ferocity of the attack by Hamas gunmen on southern Israel last Saturday. Now the Israel Defense Forces have today been recovering the bodies of civilians, including babies, from a rural community just a mile from the border with Gaza. Whole families are reported to have been killed. Israeli soldiers on the ground have described what they've seen as a massacre. Tonight, we'll hear from our correspondents right across the region, from our international editor, Jeremy Bowen, who's been to that village, Kafar Azar, where the bodies are being recovered. Lucy Williamson has been to the area near Rehim, where hundreds were murdered at a music festival. And we'll be inside Gaza itself, under siege with our correspondent, Rushdi Abdu Alouf. But our first report tonight is with Jeremy and a warning, you may find some of the images in his report distressing. 